This week is insane. There's so much going on. I got to meet Jonna Jintan. <laughs> wow, what a month October has been. With so many wonderful things happening. I got to meet one of my biggest inspirations. It's cool. <laughs> the newspaper wrote an article about me. And winter is now here with full force. And for someone who used to hate winter, it's a bit weird how much I'm enjoying it. Oh my god, this week is insane. There's so much going on. Uh, yesterday I I got to meet Jonna Jintan. <laughs> the person who has inspired me to move up here and start making videos myself. And then to get to meet her and see that she's just as sweet and lovely in real life that was just like I, I still can't comprehend it I'm still processing the fact that I met her <laughs> and I cannot stress it enough how sweet she was see she's you know that saying never meet your heroes that is not true for her at all. She is the sweetest, the absolute sweetest. So I got to meet her because I was doing a photo project and she was kind enough to help me with that, to be the model. And then we sat and talked. We had fika and we had pizza for dinner and stuff and I think I ended up being there for almost seven hours <laughs> and tomorrow the local newspaper is coming by to write an article about me about how I left the city to live a calmer life closer to nature so <laughs> this week really is insane it's so much going on and it's so exciting <laughs> but also a little bit scary like being in the newspaper and I was so nervous <laughs> meeting Jana I mean how could I not she's she has been such an inspiration for me and I will also show you a little bit from yesterday when I met Jonna. <laughs> yes, meeting her was absolutely wonderful and it felt like we really clicked having such a good time. <laughs> okay, <Skål. laughs> And it was also very nice to meet another YouTuber. Ever since I started making these videos, I've never really had anyone to talk with. Because there's so much work behind the scenes. And for a short while, it felt like I had a mentor. Yeah. One of the things we discussed was how a lot of people want to consume media faster and faster nowadays. How folk like to listen to music in higher speed. Also, they 
De kör mm. låtar i 1,5 gånger hastigheten. Är det sant? Och liksom det är bara så här. Det blir mer och mer att vi liksom går mot att konsumera saker jättesnabbt. Och det är Jag känner mig inte hemma i det. Nej, inte jag alls. heller. Uh, Gud vad intressant, så folk börjar, ja och även ljudböcker vet jag att de börjar ja. lyssna på fortare ja, för att det... de inte har tid och, men det är pausen mellan orden som gör att man hinner ta in ja, så. But the reason I visited was because she was helping me out, standing model for my photos I had to take for my photo class. Pictures that would tell the viewer about the person being photographed. vanlig ost Nej, jag, jag har varit vegan, det ska vi se så det säger rätt. Eh, det måste vara 2010. Åh, oh, så länge. Ja, inte typ länge Some days after meeting Jonna, I felt a longing to get outside and headed to the mountains. Surrounding the mountains is something called virgin forests, nature that has never been cut down by humans. As you might be able to see behind me, it's basically winter here, and this is only 40 minutes away from my house. And I'm not even on top of the mountain. The snow is on the foot of the mountain, so I wonder how much snow it can be on the top. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna go to the top. It's too windy today, so I'm just gonna walk around here uh, by the foot of the mountain and enjoy the virgin forests. The energy in these forests is something truly special. Deep underground, all the trees are connected to one another through fungi, making them able to communicate and even share nutrients with each other. And I believe this connection between everything here helps us humans connect with nature even deeper ourselves. Seeing the snow brought me so much new energy, something I really needed after having been in front of the computer too much lately. I'm trying uh, the wind whistle that Jonna, Jonna Jinton uh, made a video about, but it's it's harder than it looks. Sometimes I'm nailing it, but then when I try it again, I don't remember what I did. So uh, it's a little hit and miss. I just wanna lay here forever. Look up at the treetops, full of snow. It's winter here. It's still fall in the village. But a 40 minutes drive and I'm here. And then it's winter. So the winter is really, really close to where I live now. And yes, this is slightly higher up. Um, so it's colder because of that, but it's not that much up higher because I'm at the foot of the mountains. I'm not on the top. I know I often say I wish I could take you guys here. But this is also one of those moments. It's just so... Wonderful. I almost feel like I want to cry. This right here is exactly why I moved up here. And I think for a few weeks now I haven't really done anything like this. I've kind of gotten stuck in 
old habits of sitting in front of the computer and playing video games and stuff like that. But now when I'm out here again, it's just like, it really hit me that, wow, I live here. A short drive with the car and I'm here. Like I have to do this so much more often. This is the reason I decided to live here. And when I moved up here, I was kind of surprised that not more people were out and about. I was like, oh, you live this close to nature. Why aren't you outside all the time? But now lately I've kind of <laughs> been doing the same, just sitting, sitting more inside. And I think one part of that is also because my dose of nature is never empty up here because as soon as I go out uh, from the house, I open the door, there's nature. So I always have nature next to me. So I never feel empty and then seek out nature like I did in Stockholm, which is wonderful. But in one way, I also wish I don't, I hope I don't forget to seek out nature just because I have nature right outside the door. Because nature like this, the virgin forest, is just something very, very rare and special. And the feeling and energy in this forest is, I can't describe it with words. But it's really starting to get dark now and it's gonna be kind of dark in some parts of the forest because of other trees. So I should maybe start heading back. I don't know what. <sighs> so this is what I'm waking up to today. It's snowing and I think this is gonna stay on the ground. I also really need to work with the water in the barn. I have to get rid of all the water in the in the heater and uh, in the pipes and stuff like that because it's gonna freeze now and that can damage everything. So from now on I can no longer take a shower in the barn. I have to go down to the lake or something or to the river soon because the lake is gonna freeze as well. So the river and shower there. Oh, and as you can see, my lips are very, very dry. It's from the cold. This always happens during winter and when it gets really, really cold. So um, the problems are just starting. And I know I can see that the water in the burrow that I'm going to pick in, it has frozen. Oh no. Hopefully it's just on the surface. <laughs> Walking around outside while the snow fell down all over the village was pure magic. Experiencing the first snowfall of the year is a feeling I can never describe with words. It brings such a peace. Everything calms down and it's as quiet as anything possibly can be. It's like the snow erases any sound there is and the only thing left for you to hear is the snowfall itself. And maybe a woodpecker if lucky. Towards the night, the sky cleared up and the northern lights welcomed the new season. 
Here's a picture I took a few weeks ago when I, for the very first time in my life, got to experience this phenomenon. Eventually, night turned to day and a whole winter wonderland was ready for me to explore. During my explorations, I encountered this woodpecker for the second day in a row. He must be one of my new neighbors, because I see him quite a lot recently. He flies away to get a pine cone, then brings it to this lamppost we have for skiing in the forest. On top of it, there's a small crack he uses to hold his pine cones. This way, he has a much easier time to pick it. This reminds me of how smart animals truly are, and that we should never underestimate them. Good morning, guys. It's very cold outside today. I think the lake is about to um, freeze. Look here. All this fog is raising from the lake. Um, I'm no expert because I used to move here, but my guess is that this means that the lake is about to freeze. So I'm on my way down there. It's so beautiful. I used to have to go down there. Unfortunately, most of the fog has started to disappear once I got down there, but it was still absolutely stunning. I wouldn't be surprised if there's ice on the lake tomorrow. There are already some traces of ice uh, near the shore. So uh, I think this might very well be the last day the lake is open. Obviously, if it's ice tomorrow, it's not strong enough to walk on. It's going to be very thin. But I think we're right on the tipping point. And I've never been here while this lake has frozen. So that will be very interesting to see how it looks like. I don't think I've actually ever seen a lake freeze step by step. I've always just walked down to a lake and then it's already been ice. So it would be cool to see if it's like, oh, tomorrow half the lake is uh, covered with ice and then the day after another third of the lake is covered with ice, like see it grow. That would be kind of cool. I'm walking to a nearby lake to see if the ice is covering it. This one is higher up so it might... Oh yeah! It's ice all over the lake! Wow! Okay, I have to go down there now. I highly doubt it's strong enough to walk on though. What? But that's because it's so close to the shore. There's no way it would hold like here. No way. The ice was probably strong enough to hold, but I was too cautious to actually get out. I need to go down to the barn and get some firewood. I went inside again after being down by the lake and it's just too cold in there, even with radiators on. So I have to start my first fire of the year.
After another cold night, I decided to head back to the frozen lake to ice skate. Oh my god, there were just a moose here, right here, like 20 meters away from me. Then I tried to film it, but unfortunately I had my camera in manual focus, so I couldn't get any focus. And then it hurt me when I tried to change the focus and it ran away. That was Loki. Scary because it was so close. We like had eye contact. I was still very cautious, but the more I was on the ice, the more secure I felt. Someone else had also done a hole in the ice, and through that one, I could tell that the ice was about one decimeter thick. Definitely strong enough to hold. First skate of the year, done. Since I don't have a shower now, I'm down here by the lake to take a bath. So in my bag here I have some clean clothes and biodegradable let's see if I can get that up, biodegradable shower yeah. But I also need like a space to put all my clothes. So I guess I have to do something like this. Ah. And down here I will go. But you do have to admit, it's beyond beautiful right now. You know, there's one thing to just take a dip that I do kind of usual, usually. <laughs> In cold water but like actually wash you have to be in there for a while so I don't know I mean even I think this is insane and I love cold baths cold swims but I'm trying to comfort myself with this beauty at least but I have no feelings in my leg right now. Whew. Apparently I forgot my towel, so I have to dress without drying up. That makes this whole thing even worse. But this was what I signed up for when I moved up here. I knew this would be the case. <laughs> my toes are hurting quite a bit right now. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> There's like six more months of winter. So uh, this is what I will be doing for six months from now on. <laughs> I actually went back yet another time to ice skate. I feel like it's a good exercise now when it's harder to run because of the snow. And of course, I also brought some fika with me. Cheers! Something I really love about my life right now is my perception of time, or rather the lack thereof. I am sitting here having hot chocolate, not having the slightest idea what time it is. And for me, that is one of the most freeing and liberating feelings I've ever experienced. Time doesn't matter. That's a weird feeling because time has always mattered. My life has always been about what's next. Oh, in an hour I need to be there and after that I need to be here and all of that and now I don't have to think about those things. 
So the other day I felt very overwhelmed, but today I feel very grateful again. Ups and downs of life. Maybe I should have used a little bit more cocoa to give it a little bit more flavor. But other than that, so good. Especially drinking something hot when it's cold outside. But I think this video is coming to an end now. So once again, I really, really want to thank you guys for watching, spending your valuable time on my videos. Uh, and uh, an especial huge thank you to all my Patreons and uh, members on uh, YouTube as well. I cannot with words express my gratitude towards all of you. You are making these videos possible. I wouldn't be able to stay here without you guys. So cheers to all my Patreons, members and everyone who's watching. Bye! And an extra huge thank you to Jonna Jinton, both for welcoming me, but also for all the wonderful inspiration you give. Thank you for everything you do. Bye!